hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding animations to our game so before downloading any animation make sure that your character which you are using in your game for example if you are using this character then go inside the character directory for example my character is inside the adventure character and what we will do is we will simply open up the mesh folder and this is my character mesh then check the rig of it and as you can see the character rig is humanoid and the avatar definition is set to create from this model okay make sure that you have the exact same settings as my character mesh okay if you are using some other character make sure that you do this okay so now after doing that then go ahead and open up any browser and search for maximo.com okay from this website we will download our free animations so just visit this website login because you will be needing a adopt account so you can just simply sign up with your google account or you can try other ways to sign up okay so once you do that then just simply upload your character to this website if you don't know how to upload your character okay i will show you you can just simply click on this upload character okay and right here now we need to provide the fpx obj or zip file of our character so for this what we will do let me show you in your character open up your character mesh okay for example this is my character mesh and as you can see this is dot fpx file okay so what i will do is i will simply click on this show in explorer so this is the fpx file what i will do is i will simply drag and drop this inside maximo.com okay so just simply drop it right here or you can actually click on the select a file and you can go ahead inside the directory and select your fpx file okay so now it will take a moment so let's just wait for it as you can see this is the character now i will simply click on next and our character is as you can see has been uploaded now click next and then your character will be uploaded right here as you can see okay so make sure that you upload your character like this now we need to find animations for our character so i will simply click on animations okay and let's search for animation called idle okay we need an idle animation as you can see there are a lot of idle animations so you can download any of it let's click on this one i think this uh, idle animation is really good as you can see so if you want you can download this idle as well but in the intro video i have used this idle animation okay so i will just simply stick to my own animation okay so i will select this and then just simply make sure to increase the arm space so let's just make it 69 or 70 Okay, so the hand is now away from the player body as you can see so just simply increase the arm space then click on download and make sure to change the format to fpx for unity and change the skin to without skin and that will wait then just simply click on download button and the animation will be downloaded now let's search for another animation which is walk okay we need to find the walking animation from here let's actually search for walking okay so here is all of the walking animations you can use any of the walk okay but as you can see all of the other walks are not what we need okay so if you scroll up right here this 
animation is suitable for our walking so select that and simply click on this in place and let's change the arm space to let's just say 70 just as we did for our idle okay let's decrease it to 65 maybe okay 65 is a good value for this so just simply click on download all of the settings will be the same as the previous one then after this we need a running animation so let's search for running okay there are many running animations as you can see let's select this one okay click on in place and as you can see this animation is good let's change the player arm space to 60 let's make it 65 okay 65 is a good value for this running animation so make sure that you check the in place box and make the arm space 65 then just simply click on download then fbx for unity and this will be without skin click download and guys i just remembered now that some of you guys commented on our videos okay that the running in your previous parkour game is a little bit slow so if you want the running to be fast then you can just simply change the overdrive value of this animation okay for example if you change it to 70 now as you can see the player is running fast okay so if you want some fast running animation then you can just change the overdrive like that okay but i will stick to 50. okay so once all of the three animations are downloaded you can go ahead and open up unity and in the assets folder let's create another folder by the name of animations and then inside this animations folder you can add these okay so let's add it up right here Okay, so these are the three animations. What we will do now is select three of them and click on rig, then change the animation type to humanoid. Okay, and let's change the avatar definition to copy from other avatar and then click on this. And right here we will select this main mesh avatar. Okay, this is our character avatar. Click apply and it is now applied. If we click now the first animation which is the idle now as you can see we can see our player in here okay let's play the animation as you can see the player is playing the idle animation let's click on the next one this is the running and as you can see the player is running now let's check this one whoops okay so now as you can see the player is walking and this is the running Okay, so now select these animations. Okay, let's actually select the first one, click on animation and let's scroll down. Let me do this, okay. And what we will do right here is we will click on this loop time, then loop pause. And as you can see, uh, all of the loops match. So we will just simply click on begin to pause, begin to pause, and begin to pause. Let's change based upon to original. And right here, we will change this to original as well. And then click apply. Now select the next animation, and we will do the same for this one. Okay, loop time, loop pause, pick into pause in these three and change this to original right here. Click apply and that's it. Okay, let's drag and drop the player in it. And now, as you can see, this is the player. Let's play it. As you can see, it is working perfectly fine. Okay, now let's select the next one right here we will change this to loop time loop pause 
make sure that you bake them into poses and change this to original click apply and that will be it okay so now all of the animations are changed